I think this is the route. There's just no trail. It's a freaking road. Don't pass all these buildings. Very bizarre. Okay, so we made it through the night. Um, pretty good camp spot. As you can tell, I'm a little bit lopsided. Uh, you know, that's what happens when you roll in here at dark. Um, a little bit of condensation, but not as much as I thought would probably happen. Um, you know, given the fact that I was gonna be in this near the water. Oh, my oatmeal bars turned out pretty damn good. They're nice and chewy and um, I really like them. I'm gonna try to get even better content than I got for everyone yesterday when my GoPro took a shit. So I'm gonna make up for that for everybody today. The plan today is, well, I don't really know. I think I'm gonna try to get to, I wanna go to somewhere on the west side of this trail that has a bear box actually, uh, because I, I know that on the west side of this trail, the bears are a lot worse. It's gonna be a hot one today. It's already mild this morning. That's gonna be the day. <laughs> These little nips here are good at vitamin C. Citrusy. This is quite possibly one of the most beautiful mornings in Oregon I've ever experienced. This is beautiful. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but this bark is sandpaper smooth. We camped right here, Russian Creek. We just passed Bunker Creek a bit ago. We're coming up on Horseshoe Bend. I definitely want to see the cabin up in here. And then we're going to think about camping somewhere in here. Again, hopefully one of them has a bear box because I'm not really interested in getting mauled this weekend. Although that would be one hell of a way to go out, wouldn't it? Do these two people just pass me right now? They got to think I'm the slowest person known to man. But it's like, no, actually, I just thought I lost my ID. I had to throw my pack open. I just found it. As I just found it now, now I broke my tripod. So I have mole skin on the top of this.
It's about one o'clock. We just got done with lunch, sitting here by a stream, just kind of resting my feet, trying to figure out where I want to get to tonight. I forgot how much work it is to actually hike with a pack on. <laughs> a little bit tired, I think. I didn't sleep that well last night. Slept okay, but we're gonna slam some caffeine. We're gonna keep rolling and try to make it to a bear box. We're at mile like 18 right now or something like that, which I can't believe. It seems like it should be longer, but now it's time to put some music in. We are gonna be running down this trail. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I, I have brought, I can't tell if the pills that I brought are salt tabs or magnesium, which is a very big difference because the magnesium I take at night to go to sleep, that makes me tired. And so I found them and I can't remember which pocket I put which in and they look the same. So I just took one the other day or a couple hours ago and it could have been a magnesium one because I was a little tired. <laughs> It is hot, very hot out right now. I haven't seen a campsite since Nam. Um, I haven't seen a person since Nam either, so. No idea what mile I'm at. Slightly concerned, because I've been on this road forever, it seems like. I think this is the route. There's just no trail. It's a freaking road. Really bizarre. Going past all these buildings. Only got some bear shit here. First one of the trail. And what do you know? As I'm out of water, there's a stream right next to the trailhead. That is what I am talking about. So we're currently about right here. Um, end is right there. I wanted to camp somewheres in here. Still haven't decided where to do that at. I wanted to try to get to Brushy Bar, but I don't know if I... That's quite a ways away. I guess only six miles or so. Might be doable. It's only four quarter after four right now. about 7 30 we we're at the brushy bar campground or campsite we got a bear box right over there which is great nice decent flat spot everything's pretty good right now cold soaking ain't too bad i mean let's be honest no trail food is really that good so it's working for me we only have nine and a half miles to the end pretty good day i think we did 24 miles or so 23 24 and my feet hurt but i'm dude these shakedown hikes are amazing i realized gear that i need gear that i need to swap out like for instance i'm not going to wear the lone peaks i'm going to wear the temps a little more cushioning i need a better tripod figure out my camera gear so just super super valuable for whatever it is you're gearing up for 